Hello, hello, hello. Well, I'm here in Portland, Maine, and it wasn't planned. It was rather unexpected. But anyways, I'm here in Portland, Maine, and I'm here at one of perhaps the most iconic locations in all of Maine, and that is Portland Headlight. Portland Headlight was a lighthouse that was built during George Washington's time as president. And I'm down here on the beach, and the sun is about to rise. And we've got a little bit of color in the sky, but it's pretty overcast right now, so I'm not sure what kind of sunrise we're going to get. Off there in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, there it goes, but that's Ram Island Light. And of course, we've got the waves coming in. Low tide was about two and a half hours ago, so the tide's coming in. And where I'm sitting right now is, well, it's going to be covered in water here in about another two and a half hours or so. So I'm trying to get a comp here. Essentially, I'm trying to get a view going down the rocks here, which you can see right here, the view basically going down these rocks to the lighthouse along the beach here. So I'm trying to frame it up, and that's what I was doing before I decided to bring you guys along. So I'm going to shift this. There we go. And my settings right now are F. I'm going to shoot this at F16. ISO 64. And I'm going to go to 30 seconds for long exposure because the light is such. I could increase my ISO if I wanted to. And maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, but first, I want to get a sense as to what the focus looks like. Yeah. So you got nice rocks. Then you got the waves. Then of course you've got the lighthouse itself. Awesome. All right. This is so different from being in Arizona, which is desert, and being here, which is seascapes, especially rocky seascapes. But uh, I was born and raised in this area. I was born and raised in Portland, Maine. And so I used to come here as a kid and play. And so I've had this, I've just had this real attachment, if you will, to this place. And even though it's more seascape than it is desert scape, it's still something that I'm very much familiar with. Just taking in the scenery. Now, this is a shot that I took probably about eight years ago from essentially the same location and you can see the setup here on my camera I essentially took this exact same shot pretty much from the same location about eight years ago but with a better camera and more experience I figured I'd come back here and try to see if I could in a sense repraise that shot I've got some rocks right here, and I've got some rocks right there that kind of lead you in. So hopefully it turns out to be a pretty decent shot. Um, there's kind of like a line of rocks coming in this way, which is right over here. Can't see my finger, but 
it's right over here. So let me go ahead and take this shot. We've got a little bit of color in the sky, but not much. And as soon as we get some light, I can go ahead and try to take the shot um, at a faster speed so I can get some of these crashing waves because I think that that would be really, really cool. I really wanted to get a shot there of Ram Island Light, which is way out here in the... You can see it occasionally flashing right there. That's Ram Island Light or Ram Island Ledge Light. And I'm gonna throw my telephoto here once we get better light and uh, see if I can capture it too. So, I'm gonna change my orientation. I'm hoping that there's a little bit of sun, a little bit of color, but I don't know, there's a lot of low cloud. And that usually doesn't uh, foretell a great um, sunrise, but Anyways, welcome to Maine. Well, the sun has risen. It's right over there. Not much of a sunrise, not much of color. There's a little bit of light up there in the clouds, but not much. There's a, several drones flying in the area. I don't know if you can see them, but there's one right up there. Um, but yeah, so now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to capture some of these waves coming in and crashing. It's beautiful, as Portland Headlight always is. And I have myself framed up here. I don't know if you can really see that, but essentially um, I'm shooting at um, F-16 at one sixth of a second, ISO 64. And the headlights still got its light on, which it probably will all day, because it's cloudy. But I'm waiting for some pretty nice waves to come in. Some just came in a few minutes ago, and I was able to grab some of those shots, so I see some swells coming in here just a little bit. You can always tell by looking out here at the headland, if you get waves crashing there, then you know you're going to end up getting waves crashing right here. So that's what I'm waiting for, and I will adjust my shutter speed once we get a little bit more light. The sun is still kind of coming up. Here comes a wave right now. Yeah, that's nice. And we got another one coming in right behind it. There we go. Got another one right there. Yeah. And another one right there. And wow, we got a bunch of them coming in here. duck there kind of got washed in a wave so anyways I'm just going to continue to shoot here and um, 
see what kind of pictures I can get. Got a little bit of color from the sun there, but not much. And some pretty skies. But I'm gonna hang around for a little bit longer just to see if I can catch some more wave action coming in. Just provides for a more interesting shot, like right there. Oh, we got another big one coming in right here. Oh yeah, look at that, it's coming. There it is. Yep, getting some of the reflection of the sun. Okay, let me bump my ISO. go up to about 200 because I'm trying to capture some of this wave action so I bought my ISO up to 200 um, on the Sony here it probably shouldn't be too big of a deal but I want to capture some of the wave action coming in and I want to capture some of the crashing waves right now we're in kind of a lull but here comes the swell right now uh, kind of faded out, but we've got some big swell coming in right behind it. Yep, you can see it there in the rocks. There we go. Oh yeah. No one right behind it. Oh yeah. it right there and it's coming up at about 12 feet from where I am so I think I'm gonna shut this thing off so I can get myself ready in case the water comes in too far waiting for sunrise which is supposed to have happened by this point I believe and well we got great skies we got great surf uh, the surf here is incredible it's just absolutely gorgeous but uh, really not much sun I'm waiting to see if maybe the sun might light up some of the clouds up above here but I don't know I don't know if it will but Drop that gorgeous, and um, I'm gonna try to make some photographs, but we'll see. If anything, I can make some photographs of some angry sea by Portland Headlight, but I'm not gonna get any great, um, you know, sunrise color or anything like that. 
And I don't know if you can even hear me over the noise of the roar of the uh, crashing waves, but I suppose I could put my lavalier mic on, but eh. right now I'm just taking it all in and just enjoying the crashing waves. There's beauty and power in the effects of the ocean on, on the uh, coast. Especially here in Maine, where you got such rocky coastline. It's just incredible to watch. As the water just relentlessly, relentlessly beats into the um, shoreline here. And I'm thinking I might get a little bit closer than where I've been. I have been... Right there's my camera. Uh, right there's my camera and of course the beach is right over here so I'm probably gonna move my camera a little bit closer and um, see if I can catch some of these waves coming in and time the waves coming in with the light and the lighthouse so just to give you kind of a sense of what I'm talking about I'm gonna turn this thing around so you can see and hopefully you can hear me over all this noise. Well, I'm finishing out my time here at Portland Headlight. I've been taking pictures of waves. Sorry I didn't bring you along, but it's just windy and it's really, really loud with the crashing waves and I didn't know if you could even hear me and I'm not even sure if you can even hear me now. I'm right up against the microphone, but it's just been incredible. It's a gorgeous morning. Uh, sunrise wasn't really much of anything to speak of not much color in the sky whatsoever but um, the waves here have really not disappointed at all as you can see
I will show at the end of all this some of the uh, photography that I took, some of the pictures that I took of these crashing waves crashing against these rocks. But right now, I probably need to move because I have water coming in around me and I need to make sure that I am able to get off this ledge before the waves come in, before the tide comes in. So with that, I'm going to close this out for right now and um, we'll talk with you later. Thanks.